Hey everyone, um, how are you? Um, I hope you've been well. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been um, good. I haven't been uploading um, videos um, lately. It's not because I just came back from India. Oh, it's such a crazy experience, I have to tell you that. Um, and I would have been so much happier if I actually got into Taj Mahal. Which, you know, it's, it's such a sad thing because we didn't get to get go in, um, obviously because of our poor research. Um, and um, yeah, we went there on a Friday and um, we didn't actually get in because um, Friday was a Muslim prayer day, so it's actually not open for um, the public to go in. So, yeah, that's sad. And just a tip, don't go ever go to the Taj Mahal um, on a Friday. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, today I really want to talk quickly um, and do a quick review about um, a thing that I got um, during my transit to India in um, Singapore airport um, which is this little thing here um, is the turbo lash um, all effects motion mascara by Estee Lauder so yeah um, I got it for it was really cheap in the um, airport um, I got it for 42 Singapore dollars which um, equates to about 35 dollars here um, or, you know, that's what my credit cards charged me anyways. Um, so, yeah, um, just quickly talk about it. Um, it is seriously quite a letdown, I think, this, this one here. Um, you know, in terms of price, it is quite pricey if you didn't get it from the duty-free shop. Um, and, um, you know, it's not the one of the best mascaras I've got. It doesn't hold curls that well. Um, it doesn't actually go on that well as well. It's probably due to the um, consistency of the mascara itself. You know, um, one of the best mascaras I've got is you know still Lancome. I think it's they've got the best you know mascara consistency. It just holds curls and builds up really easily and doesn't actually spike um, and clump as much. Um, this one actually isn't that bad, but you know, for the price, I think you could get something way better than it. Um, and I'll just quickly tell, like, um, show you what it is. Um, it, when you sort of twist the cap open, um, the motion starts. It's actually turned off automa automatically. Um, you can actually hear the buzzing sound, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the buzzing sound is noticeable. Um, and the brush is sort of like that, it's tapered in um, to tip off the mascara wand. It's the bristles are way shorter and you know, towards the end it's longer. So it gives you um, quite a good sort of control over it. But the thing is, I've got it on um, on my right um, eye. So as a comparison to my left eye, I haven't actually got anything on on my lash, on my lashes. Um, and yeah, you could see the difference, I guess. But you can't really tell, you know, you can't really see it curled up, I suppose, because it just doesn't hold the curl really well. And um, this is after three coats of mascara, it's not that bad. But um, the tip while using this is you should actually let the motion do its own job, like slowly pull it through your lashes. So you let the motion of the wand um, get the mascara on each of your lashes and slowly build it up. Um, the thing that I was doing previously was uh, I, I got so used to using like manual mascaras. Manual mascaras sounds weird, huh? Like normal mascaras without this, you know, battery thing and um, motion thing. So I was using it 
I was zigzagging it like I would usually do just to build up the volume. Oh, it didn't actually work. You have to let it do its own job, like pull it slowly through your mascara and let the motion sort of get the mascara into your lashes. So after you know practicing or using it like more than once, I think it looks better. Like I'm sorry about the mess at the back. I really haven't got to you know cleaning it up since I back. It's been such a hectic week. Um, yes, um, just getting back to this, packaging is cool, you know, but um, I think in, in general, sort of, it's not the best mascara, I think. But just bear in mind that I've got really thin and stuff um, eyelashes, as you can see on my left eye, you know, it's almost non-existent. <laughs> well, you know, to a certain degree it sort of has done its job, but, you know, I, yeah, you can see that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've got fuller lashes, it might have a different effect on your lashes, um, but just for me, I think, um, it's is not that great <coughs> and for the price you're paying for it you could probably get something better um, or maybe a few bucks more you could get a long con which is way better than this so I think my next try would be um, the long con's new hypnose drama um, it's it looks really good and I really love long con's um, mascara consistency, it holds curls well, it doesn't smudge, um, yeah, it's pretty good, I'm raving about long comb mascaras, um, but this one, um, it doesn't, s but this one, coming back to this mascara here, it doesn't actually smudge, um, which is a good thing, um, I've worn it for about, I've worn it before for about a day, and it didn't actually smear or smudge that bad, so that's the plus side, you know. Um, I think I'll probably get through this tube and not purchase it, purchase it anymore. Um, so yeah, that's just the effect it gives. Um, anyways, um, thank you for watching. Um, I will. I think my next video will be on a few things I got from India. Um, yes. So yeah, see you next time, thanks for watching.